Welcome to my Mitochondrial Myopathy Awareness Week video. And it's directed by me, Maddie Lorenzen. Hi, I'm Maddie and I have Mitochondrial Myopathy. But what is Mitochondrial Myopathy? Mitochondria exist in nearly every cell of the human body, producing 90% of the energy the body needs to function. In a person with mitochondrial disease, the mitochondria are failing and cannot adequately convert food and oxygen into life-sustaining energy. For many, mitochondrial disease is an inherited genetic condition, while for others, the body's mitochondria can be affected by environmental factors. Possible symptoms of mitochondrial myopathy can include migraines, strokes, seizures, organ failure, vision and hearing loss, dysautonomia, heart defects, low blood sugar, fainting, fatigue, muscle weakness, respiratory problems, cerebral palsy, gastrointestinal problems, muscle cramping, vomiting, low calcium, diabetes, nerve weakness, autism, and more. Every 15 minutes, a child is born who will develop mito by age 10. And about 2,000 people here in America have mitochondrial myopathy. And more people die of it than they die of cancer. How is mitochondrial myopathy treated? People with mito can be given vitamins to improve their energy, but there is no actual cure for mitochondrial disease. How does mito affect me? Because of my mito, I get really tired really easily. I have a feeding tube, glasses, a hearing aid, and I just got a port put in. Because I have Mido, I'm not able to do certain things that I would like to do. I cannot play any sports, stay outside for a long time, or even just walk around too much. But although Mido has done bad things in my life, it has done some good too. People have come up to me and asked about my wheelchair or my feeding tube, and we got to know each other. Being different has helped me to make new friends. Because of my mitochondrial disease, Make-A-Wish was able to send me to Disney World for a week. We were able to go to the front of all the lines, and Disney World is where I rode my first roller coaster. My mitochondrial disease gave me another disease called dysautonomia. The dysautonomia can make me really hot or really cold sometimes, and it makes my pulse and blood pressure act weird. Something that I would really like my friends to understand is that while I have Mido, Mido doesn't have me. Even though I am different from you, I am the same as you. I want to do the same things that you do. Talk with your friends, play, and have fun. For more information about mitochondrial myopathy, you can go to www.umdf.org or you can visit my blog at www.memosfirmatty.blogspot.com. Thank you for watching.